Hi, it's Shelly. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. What are we doing today? In today's video, we are in Bacalar, Mexico, and we booked a private catamaran trip to explore the beautiful Bacalar Lagoon. Penny's travel bag doubles really nicely as a day go bag. The boat was picking us up right at the dock of our Airbnb, so we packed our bag and headed out. Penny is so excited. But wait, when we got to the end of the dock, we were greeted by this type of catamaran, a notification that no dogs are allowed because it's too dangerous on such a small vessel. We had confirmed with our Airbnb host that she would be allowed, but there was a mix up in communication somewhere along the line. Okay, what now? Not to be discouraged, our tour host suggested we take a bigger boat out that would accommodate both us and Miss Penny. So we agreed to meet later for the afternoon sail. They picked us up at our Airbnb and took us to their dock to catch the boat. Phew, crisis averted. So we're off again in anticipation of getting out there on the beautiful lagoon. Penny is always so excited and happy to come along with us on our adventures. She's always game. She does, however, get a bit stressed in new situations and she can be very vocal when she isn't sure what's happening. Her biggest fear is not getting to go. So we're heading on to the boat. We met our captain Francisco who set the sail and we were off on our adventure. Laguna Bacalar is a long narrow lake near the border with Belize. It's approximately 42 kilometers long and less than two kilometers at its widest. The lagoon is famous for its striking colors and clear waters. You will often hear it referred to as the Lake of Seven Colors because of the white sandy bottom that gives the effect of having so many shades of blue. The lagoon is a freshwater lake fed by underground cenotes. The day was perfect for sail and Francisco offered us many opportunities to jump off the boat for a swim. We were happy to just enjoy the sail on the beautiful waters. Along the way, he showed us an abandoned hotel. The story is that a former governor of the state planned and ordered the hotel to be built from 1993 to 1999. The governor was linked to drug trafficking and money laundering and the project was abandoned when he was put in prison where he remains today. The site is more than 80 hectares and includes 625 hotel rooms, two swimming pools, a restaurant, chapel, convention center, a pavilion and much more. Our tour also included getting us as close as possible to Bird Island, or Isla de los Pajeros. It's a sanctuary so rich in nature, natural resources that several species of birds come here during migration and otherwise. Respect for their habitat is the main rule and boats are not allowed to get too close. We did lower the anchor and I jumped in for a quick swim with Penny in a very shallow area.
Next, we were off to Pirate's Channel. This is where the Bacalar Lagoon turns into Hondo River. There's a mineral-rich sand here that travelers often rub on their skin for exfoliation. The giant cement boat at the entrance to the canal was built for the purposes as a restaurant. The project, however, was never authorized as it posed a risk to the area's ecology. The canal was used by pirates to access the lagoon and thus a fort facing the canal was built for protection. Penny really enjoyed the sail and showed no fear. We put her in her life jacket since she insisted on living the, on the edge of the catamaran. Keep going. Go, Penny. Our next stop was Cenote Negro. This cenote is located within the lagoon and it is the deepest cenote at 90 meters deep. Its waters are a navy blue and you can see the deep drop off from the surface. This cenote is also known as Cenote de la Bruja or Witch's Cenote and comes with a legend widely spread among the locals. The legend says that a woman more than a century old lived there with her house of dolls, which struck fear among visitors. This old woman was supposedly evicted to allow urbanization to the area. The old woman was annoyed by the turn of events and cast a fatal curse on those who prowled the area and that every year at least one person would die by drowning. So here, almost everyone wears a life jacket. It's very eerie in here. When you cross into the cenote, it gives you a weird feeling like you are dropping off into a deep, dark abyss, which is essentially what you're doing. The scenery around the shore here is amazing though, and we sailed right in close to shore. It was incredible. At the end of our sail, we were rewarded with a beautiful sunset over the trees. We were dropped off at the dock of our Airbnb and this was the end of a perfect day. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please hit the like and consider subscribing to the channel for more Mexican and Canadian adventures.